There are no vibrators in this talk. I'll be talking about technology that is small in your pocket and it does vibrate. If we went back 20 years and we showed people mobiles that we have today, a lot of them would just think, you know, this, this looks like magic to me. And we take a lot of that for granted. Mobile is absolutely massive. If we look at some of the numbers, there's over 6.5 billion subscribers worldwide. Now, of course, that doesn't mean there's one mobile Twitch. One of those people is about 4.5 billion people with mobiles on the planet. 2.2 billion mobile phones sold last year. This is an ecosystem that is mature. It's not nascent, it's not new. We have to understand that and really get a good understanding of how that ecosystem is used. A key component of the ecosystem, which has just absolutely taken the world by storm, is the smartphone, how the mobile has evolved into this device. It's gone from something that we hold up to our ear and we talk to something that we share and we touch and we have a richer media experience with that. And look, for marketers, it's pretty cool. We get to make big-ass mobiles like this, stick it in a public place and watch people make fools of themselves trying to use it. But there are a lot of cool things that we can do with mobile. We tend to get focused a little bit on the technology, but it is a lot of exciting things. There's the simple stuff that we can do, such as texting. And we all know this, right? But we can do some rich stuff with it as well, where we can actually send pictures and videos with that texting te uh, technology as well. But there's even functionality of which that has just become an absolute focus for customers today where they sort of don't look at anything else. And that is the application that we have on these devices. Not to mention the whole access to the internet with the mobile sites that we love and dear when we talk to our customers about that. But what about the functionality of the mobile that wasn't originally designed for this? Where the camera on the mobile can be used as a scanner to access information. And if you go to countries like Japan, they're on, they're on billboards where it's just the code. You scan this and you get the info. And we can use that camera further, where we can look at the real world around us. And then the device actually shows digital information superimposed real time over that, which is augmented reality. And then the other technologies that come through that we sort of have seen have their sort of play and they sort of died away is where we're using the network capability. It's things like Bluetooth, we have a richer experience of how we access information. I can go to a billboard and I can actually get like an application or interact with a game with that billboard directly. And that networking technology has become a quite proximity marketing technology of where I actually have near field communication where I can use the device, hold it against something and share personal information of mine in a secure way. But it's going a bit nuts now. We're into this wearable tech phase. So you've either got it on your wrists, you're wearing it on your shoes, but this is something that's really important to see. It's a trend that is leading now and taking it to all new heights. This is heading for convergence. And the convergence really is something that we hear a lot, um, termed used a lot, but I think that it is misunderstood. The Internet of Things, vehicles connected are part of it, but it's about the mobile being a brain and interacting with these different systems. Now, while this is all well and good, if your customers are not taken on the journey, chaos reigns. And as marketers, I think we tend to forget this a lot, especially when new technologies come out, we tend to focus on that. The customer is king here. So we tend to do this old thing that we've done in the past, is your customer on the left or is on the right? I hope to hell it's not the one on the right, but. Sometimes we fire that shotgun and hope that we're going to hit somebody in the crowd, but are we looking for that individual within the crowd? So I'm going to go clue train on you, and for those people who are probably under 30 in the audience have no idea what I'm talking about, I'm showing my age, but markets are conversations. And this is very important as marketers. It's not a one-way street, it's a two-way street. And whilst mobile is a very powerful tool for that, I've shown you some of the really cool technology that comes around with mobile that we can use, we can take a lot for granted with this device. Don't use it as a weapon, it is a tool. And then the other thing that we always fall into is, you know what, I'm gonna run out, I'm just gonna build this because they will come. Unlike a field of dreams, if you build it, they won't come. You need to know your audience first before you engage that technology. If you're gonna use a particular part of mobile technology, you need to know. Now, one of the ways that we can work on this is to embed it within our digital DNA. Now, what I mean by this is that as marketers, we need to be using this technology ourselves and understanding it. 
not paying for some third party to tell us how to do it. And finally, and this is the most important, mobile is the only technology that we've had ever on this planet that has a deep personal connection with the individual. As marketers, we must respect and use it with humility. Thank you.